Hi, Lauren here with Science Kit and Morial Laboratories. Today I'll be showing you a demonstration with your vacuum and bell jar. So first you'll need a glass bell jar, which we also we carry. We also carry the platform and you'll need a rubber vacuum mat to put on top and a vacuum pump to remove the air. So there is a hole in the center of your platform. You want to make sure whenever you're putting something inside the bell jar that you don't cover that up. So you just put the bell jar on top, turn on your vacuum pump, make sure there's an outtake valve, so make sure you see that air is coming out of that. That's how you know it's working. And that will remove the air so there is less air pressure inside, so there's heavier air pressure pushing down, which forces the bell jar to stay stuck to the platform. You can show them. And then you can release the vacuum that way or by removing the valve from the pump. So in order to demonstrate how things will react under vacuum, we can put things like shaving cream, whipped cream, or a little less messy. We've found through experience that things like shaving cream can tend to be a little messy if you don't contain them within something like a beaker. If you just had it on the platform or in, say, a petri dish, it kind of explodes when you take the uh, bell jar back off. So we will try this and see what happens. Shaving cream. You should be able to see that it's inflating as the air pressure is released from it. It's pushing out that shaving cream. Shut that off. And remove the valve and you'll see that it kind of deflates again. And again, if you want to make a little less mess, marshmallows work really great for this. So. That is how you can have a fun demonstration with a vacuum pump and a bell jar. Uh, if you have any additional questions on how to do this demonstration in class, please feel free to call us at 1-800-828-7777 or send an email to sciencehelp at vwreducation.com.